Hello everyone. So in today's lecture, we'll discuss block diagram of digital signal processing system or uh, digital signal processing mechanism. Okay. So in uh, very first step, we'll require some electrical signal to be processed, right? That is a continuous time function. Okay. Uh, if you remember in uh, previous lecture, we were discussing some applications of digital signal processes, right? Speech was one of uh, speech signal processing was one of the important applications we were discussing right and we know that uh, speech cannot be processed directly right in its original form right so what we do we just convert it to electrical equivalent okay and that task is performed by transducers for this case this particular application will use mic right microphone you call it okay uh, what this does this basically converts your speech signal to some function of time right uh, right here uh, we'll consider it as x of t okay in practical applications this x of t is made to pass through some uh, conditioning units right maybe some uh, type of filter okay to do signal conditioning mostly uh, we use operational amplifiers for this task okay in this diagram i haven't included one but it can be there all right after conditioning the signal is made to pass through anti-aliasing filters right this is very very essential step in a to d conversion all right these are generally the low pass filters okay which blocks the higher end frequencies above a certain threshold and allows the low frequencies to pass through okay or uh, actually unwanted frequencies make it difficult to sample an analog signal right so we use this stage to attenuate all those frequencies not of use okay after removal of unwanted frequencies the low frequency signal is made to pass through sample and hold circuit all right after removal of unwanted frequencies from the signal the low frequency signal is made to pass through sample and hold circuit right this sample and hold circuit intakes the analog input right and performs sampling and quantization operations on it all right and outputs a staircase wave as you can see in the picture in sampling operation will be discretizing uh, the this analog signal in time right and uh, quantization for quantization your discretization will be on amplitude axis means we will be rounding off the amplitude values all right let us try to understand its working and uh, operation with simple block diagram right herein as you can see uh, there is some uh, signal to be sampled right this signal is usually the analog signal right which is passed through this circuit and uh, finally we get staircase equivalent of that signal all right now what happens is when we pass uh, when we uh, fit this signal to this circuit there are two stages number one is sampler right and next is quantizer all right to better understand its operation you can think of a clock right which which turns on this circuit when this pulse arrives and turns it off when this pulse arrives means you'll get output only for uh, this period the sampling period all right and holds this one for a few seconds a few microseconds it can be the pulse mentioned with uh, capital letter s can be uh, considered as the sampling period right uh, generally we represent this sampling period as t of s that means when we uh, sample this analog signal so we can uh, will uh, get something of this shape basically we'll get a signal which is being discretized in time axis all right and obviously the difference between two sampled signals two sample impulses will be t of s the same uh, which is equal to the width of this clock s Herein, we'll get an value, an impulse value that is proportional to the amplitude value of a signal at that particular instant of time. All right. 
or you can say the amplitude of impulses follows the amplitude of signal at that particular instant of time right as soon as we get one sample that sample is made to hold its amplitude value amplitude level until the arrival of next sample right or next pulse which turns on the uh, circuitry and you'll get next amplitude value all right likewise it goes on okay this holds here this will hold uh, up to same uh, time then this will hold up to next pulse arrival okay then it uh, realizes that the next amplitude is somewhat lower than the previous one so it drops to that level that instantaneous value of a signal and then again it drops to this instantaneous value of signal and then it goes negative okay all the way towards negative side sorry on negative side also this shows same behavior right this falls to this negative level right and holds the level until next uh, pulse arrives okay then uh, the amplitude raises to this negative value and this holds up to arrival of next higher pulse then this will hold up to here and drops to level of this pulse right then drops to this amplitude value and so on okay ultimately this wave will look like a staircase formation okay like this uh, this uh, graph is not to scale right just the approximate idea of this one okay so this is what we get at the auto output of sample and hold circuit the range of sampling can be from one microsecond one microsecond to 10 microseconds all right now this quantized wave is fed to analog to digital converter all right analog to digital converter. basically this wave is still in analog form okay this needs to be converted to digital pulses all right so at the output of a to d converter we'll get something like this okay this is in form one zero one zero zero one all right just let's get an idea how uh, these quantized waves are converted to bits okay for the understanding of same uh, let's consider quantized waveform okay this so it is t it's a continuous waveform obviously okay now we have uh, certain amplitude levels we have fixed certain am amplitude levels right we have rounded off these amplitude levels okay next thing uh, we'll assign bits to them all right now you have been through uh, digital electronics okay so you might be knowing that uh, there are certain bit combinations okay if you have uh, suppose two bits uh, to represent uh, uh, information some information two bit uh, representation will have then we can have four possible combinations okay likewise uh, for three bit uh, three bit arrangement it will be three uh, seven uh, possible combinations we can have okay all right so let's say we'll uh, represent this thing with three bit uh, representation okay because uh, the number of labels are more uh, that is why uh, we are not going for two bit representation let us suppose this level i'm assigning 100 right this level is say 101 all right and this level is 110 okay now coming to uh, the negative side let's say this is 000 this level will assign 001 okay this is 010 okay and uh, i think uh, that is all no there's one more level uh, we can assign this one with this bit uh, this bit uh, combination okay now when we start uh, reading this information it will be like uh, its first level very first level is 000 all right now switching on to next level that is 100 okay then next level is 101 okay then what is the topmost 110 okay then it starts to fall okay let's say these two levels are at uh, same uh, voltage level okay so this is 101 okay all right this is 100 and uh, this falls to 000 okay then it goes negative 
so this is the level we have assigned uh, to this level okay now this is 0 1 0 okay and this one is 0 1 1 all right okay if we uh, try to represent this these bits uh, in form of, form of pulses it will be like 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 then 0 0 0 0 0 up to here and 1 then 0 1 0 0 and 1 1 right so your uh, analog signal is now being converted to digital form all right so this is the output of your a to b converter all right adc uh, we can call it adc okay this is the input for adc and that's the output of adc all right now this data is ready to be fetched to digital signal processors digital signal processors can only take digital information digital input all right and outputs digital output only digital uh, bits only right this can be uh, large programmable computers or can be small microprocessor chips all right now these processors can perform a large range of operations for example uh, if uh, suppose this information is to be compressed that compression uh, to be performed on digital bits only right so this data gets compressed and uh, the compressed output will be available at the output of dsp well while compressing it is uh, being taken care of uh, that information bits will not be lost okay only the redundant bits or the unwanted bits uh, will be compressed okay so that uh, so that uh, the information available at the output of uh, this dsp can be converted back to or reconstructed back to uh, same analog signal which was being fed right so to accomplish that the output of dsp i mean uh, the digital information is fed to d to a converter right it outputs uh, the same uh, i mean same staircase wave okay which can be uh, used to recover or reconstruct your signal back okay the output of dac is continuous but not smooth all right this uh, this signal this waveform actually contains the high frequency components also okay so to filter them out and reconstruct our signal back we need to implement reconstruction filter right so that uh, we can get the same information or approximately same information at the output okay this is all about uh, the block diagram of digital signal processing unit right